Hey guys, my name is Lara, and I am a harpist. We're here at Reverb HQ today, talking all things pedals and harp. <laughs> um, my journey with the electroacoustic harp and the my pedals and effects. It all started with the looper. The looper is my best friend. The one I use is an RC300 by Boss, and um, the one I first started out was a, the RC30, the dual, just the dual track one, and it just opened up my life. And after that, that's when I just dove into delays and reverbs and distortion, and it just became, now it's just an obsession. I love reverb. I use a lot by um, Earthquaker devices who are awesome and uh, Walrus. I have actually in my chain a bunch of great reverbs in a row, <laughs> which are great. It just allows me to have a bed of sound to then do whatever I want with. It just makes the harp This type of effect with already resonant harp really, um, I found very useful in film scores and in creating these washes of sound and these like sort of um, vibey pads almost. And um, in the chain, you know, I actually put a tremolo. I use Mon Monument by Walrus after the chain of reverbs acts as a gate. I, I get that lush sound by combining a bunch of different pedals at once. So not just one reverb. Um, I use a whole bunch at once, which is a blast. A lot of um, pitch bending and also just normal plate reverbs, um, like the, we'll try just levitation. Add in some fathom. Add in a transmitter. instant film score. I love overdrive as well um, and combining it with a little bit of something else gives it the sustain but then you can add those types of sounds to the already extended techniques of the harp so we have that's a pedal slide It's using the uh, slight overdrive. I like the Westwood a lot because the the tone doesn't doesn't overpower the the strings of the harp, but it just gives it a little bit of a texture. But then if you use it with an extended technique like a pedal slide on the harp, which is where you just just move one of the pedals of the harp a little slightly in between the positions um, from sharp to natural or natural to flat and it, it almost sounds like a synth growl or am I a harp or am I a bow? We don't know. Whatever. So another way to sustain the sound on the harp is to obviously by looping it or using a freeze pedal by Electro Harmonics, which I use a lot. But you can also combine our reverbs. We'll do a little bit of Westwood. And I'm gonna use 
my reverb's on top of that loop. This is from The Social Network, but it's a great example of how to create a pad and also sustain by using a loop. And I can also add in some swells by using an avalanche run or some over expression overdrive. So along the same lines of um, creating like a rhythmic, rhythmic pulse like I did with the monument and sort of the gate to the, to the tremolo gate to the reverbs is using just rhythmic bass pedals like a delay or my favorite ever is the boss slicer which is the best of all time. Thanks so much for hanging and thanks for having me Reverb HQ. This was a blast and um, that's how to use pedals with the harp. Thank you.